Let's take a look at a little bit more, uh, more complicated example here so that we can just make sure that everyone is all right with this process. And let's use this side of the board. So if we have y being equal to, let's say, 2x, uh, let's just say x. y is equal to x to the third plus 2x raised to the fourth power. Now notice that what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use a chain rule because we have a composite function here. So the first derivative would just be y prime would be 4 times it by x to the third plus 2x raised to the third power times it by, this would be 3x squared plus 2. Because notice that what we have to do here is we have to then go ahead and use the chain rule. So the derivative of the x to the third plus 2x would be 3x, 3x squared plus 2. If I simplify this, this would be, then become uh, 4 times it by 3x squared plus 2 times it by x to the third plus 2x raised to the third power. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could go ahead and just distribute this here as well, and that would be 12x squared plus 8. And then this would just be x to the, oh, I don't need to, I don't need to do that. Let's, let's leave it at this. Okay, so that's the first derivative. Let's find out how to calculate the second derivative. Now, if I wanted to do the second derivative, notice that what I have to do is I actually have to use the product rule now because this is a product. So, if I say that f of x would then be equal to 4 times it by 3x squared plus 2, and if I was, oh, let me make some room here, if I was to go ahead and let g of x be equal to x to the third plus 2x raised to the third power, I would then have to find f prime of x, this would be 4, times it by, this would just be 6x, g prime of x, I would have to use the chain rule, this is 3 times it by x to the third plus 2x raised to the second power, times it by 3x squared plus 6, oh, plus 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this here. This would just be 24x. This side here would be 3 times it by 3x squared plus 2 times it by x to the third plus 2x quantity squared. So what that would mean then is that the second derivative would have to be f prime, so the 24x, times it by g of x, which is x to the third plus 2x quantity to the third, plus f of x, which would be f, oh, I'm sorry, 4 times it by 3x squared plus 2, times it by g prime of x, which would be 3 times it by 3x squared plus 2, times it by x to the third plus 2x quantity squared. Okay, so that's what y double prime would be. Now, of course, what we want to do is we want to simplify this so that we can see if we can factor things out. So let's clean this up a little bit. 24x, x to the third plus 2x raised to the third, plus, now all of these are multiplied together, so I can just combine things. That's going to be 12. This is the same as that. So that's going to be 3x squared plus 2 raised to the second power. And then this is just going to be multiplied to it n. Okay, and if I go ahead now and factor, well, I have the 12 and I have the 24, so I can take out a 12. I don't have any x there, so let's just leave that x out. But I do have an x to the third plus 2x and an x to the third plus 2x factor here, and there's two of them and three of them, so I have to take two of them out. So this is x to the third plus 2x raised to the second power. And what do I have left? I basically have two, the x, now I've taken out two of these factors, so I'm left with one of them, x to the third plus 2x. Then plus, I've taken out the 12, I've taken out these two factors here, and I'm left with that factor there, x to the third plus 2x raised to the second power. Okay, so given that the case after this, what we could do is we could go ahead and distribute the 2x here and here, we could expand this, 
and simplify it, and you have what you're looking for in terms of its overall simplified form for the y double prime. So it can get very complicated, especially if you have something that's complicated from the beginning, but the process is exactly the same as before. If you have an original function and you want to find the first derivative, you use your differentiation rules. If you want to find the second derivative, you just take the derivative of the first derivative. Okay, so let's see how everyone does and hopefully you can manage all the algebra and make sure that you can apply the rules properly to the original function as well as to the first derivative to find the second derivative. Okay, so I'll see you next time. See you later. Thank you.